The one thing I like most about nowadays a smartphone is the camera. And the way smartphone cameras are getting better every month is just mind boggling. So in today's video, let's talk about the camera of Samsung Galaxy A52. I know specs don't matter, but for some people it does. So here's the specs of this smartphone's camera, positive if you want to read them and move on. The phone has too many camera features in it, just like the other Samsung phones, which I don't think anyone will use or not, but I will suggest you to try all of them and be creative with it. So in this video, we will capture nature and landscape photography with Samsung Galaxy A52. So what are we waiting for? On any occasion, if you are taking landscape photography or any photo, use grid. Just go to the camera setting and turn on the grid. It will be helpful to balance your shots. Make sure you compose the shot with the help of this grid. Like try to balance the photos with the help of the grid's point so that the photos will be well balanced. Use it, then you will get the more pleasing and balanced photos. Whenever you are in a great location, you can approach the photography with two kinds of mindset. Number one, you can click lots of photos, like 20-30 uh, photos and eventually we will get three or four handful of great photos. Or number two, you could capture only like three or four photos, but make sure those are great photos. Yeah, you could be mindful with it. I know it differs from time to time, but if you are in a new location, you can go with the first mindset. And if you are near your house, near your home, or in a familiar place where you go very often, then try to be mindful with your photos. And then see how the results you get with being mindful with your photography. Yeah. The best thing about this smartphone is that it's water resistant. You can go anywhere with the smartphone and nothing will go wrong with this. So yeah, it's a great phone which gives you the capabilities of shooting in the rain. Even if it's raining, you can go anywhere with this and capture lots of photos. Which has a great camera as well as the capability of going under water. And I think every smartphone should have this kind of feature in it. And you can take the smartphone anywhere even if it's raining. So yeah, it's a great feature. The front camera of the smartphone is also great. As you can see, the camera quality is great, but there is a one issue which I have noticed, which is happening after the update. There is a little bit and sometimes a huge color shift towards pink. Yeah, it is happening since the update and I don't know why it's happening, but uh, it could get fixed in the further update. So keep that in mind. 
Okay, so I had fun using this smartphone as a photography tool to capture great photos. If you will ask me whether I will recommend this phone to someone or not, then I will say hell yeah, why not? Because I got this smartphone for my loved one. So I think that sums it all. So that's it for this video. I hope this video will be helpful for those who are thinking to buy this phone. And thanks for watching. See you next time. I shot some portrait photos with the smartphone which I thought not to include in this video but anyway as a photography tool to capture great photos.